crafters. Yesterday I posted um, this box on my Instagram and you guys were crazy about them and I'm so happy because it took me a while before I figured out in my head what I wanted and how I needed to construct it and it's not that it's a complicated box but I wanted to contain hot cocoa packages and so I wanted to figure out a nice one and one that I could uh, let the sellers be made into a cutting die set and for the people who want a digital file it's now available in my Etsy shop and these upcoming four days I still have and then it's over a 30% off in my Etsy shop so check it out because it's shop wide it's on all the items that I sell myself including these two brand new boxes and they can contain one I closed with a ribbon and one I closed with some magnets so you can do whatever uh, you fancy and they can contain two of these tubes I put in some shaker material but uh, since we in the Netherlands do not have those any any mini um, marshmallows, I had to do it in a tube. And they can contain two packets of hot cocoa mix. Uh, the smaller ones and the bigger versions. And to decorate it, I added two candy canes in there. And you can close it up very easily, just like this. Oh, sorry, I didn't put it all the way down. Uh, you can close it like this. I I punched two oval um, cutouts in it, but it's closed when you buy it. You can do two separate holes. You can cut up, cut off one flap and make it look more like a house. Um, it's a very versatile box, and I wanted to show you this end. So. I have a 30% discount in my shop. It's only lasting four days. And this will become a die set and will be sold by KS Craft. Just so you guys know. So, then I got my package with all the new dies that I designed for KS Craft. So let me zoom in into my dirty craft mat. <laughs> Sorry for that, but it's only glue. Nothing very <laughs> exciting or nasty. Um, the first die set I wanted to show you is a die set that Casecraft forgot to send me. And in this package it was finally in. But um, it contains... Let me take off this itty bitty pokey thing before I poke myself. It contains a very cute perfect Halloween butterfly um, and it comes in two sizes as you see a very small one and a bigger size oh sorry I need to do it like this so you can see it better but I think it's so fun to have a little bit of a spooky and frilly butterflies you know I like the frilly and shabby chic stuff so that's what I designed and it has like a pumpkin face in it. If you want to see examples, because making examples just costs a lot of time and I just got these in, but you just have to put, uh, click on the links that I put in the description box and you can see how the cutouts will look. Or you can follow the design team of course of Casecraft. And this set, it maybe does not look like much, but no, this is something I was waiting for for so long. <laughs> oh, this one made me so excited because what, the, what does it make? Very tiny little gift boxes. And I already saw people making even books out of it. It is such a fun set. It makes tiny little gift boxes. And what I did is I put some crosses in it uh, that make it seem like there is ribbon uh, tied all over the box. 
and some stuff to decorate it like a little bow a little uh, itty bitty gingerbread man some leaves some flowers and I definitely definitely will use this a lot even on my cards it's one of my favorite die sets that I designed uh, a few months ago yeah I think two or three months ago okay and then I designed a 3d Christmas tree oh and this one is so cute if you die cut this out of um, what's it called that fun foam oh my goodness I saw a sample in glitter fun foam oh, why don't they take off those pokey parts um, this is like a rug this outer die and I added an extra layer and these represent the tears let me call it tears because I have no idea how to call them any other way and um, these tiny what look like flowers are yeah are your tree pieces and they go from small to bigger and then you have to build it up like this and what you do is you just roll up one of these things and put them in each in between each and every flower part and then you get a 3d Christmas tree and imagine this Christmas tree together with these packages underneath the Christmas tree I think that's a winner in my uh, opinion so yeah I definitely will play with this later today but I wanted to show you uh, the die set okay this is going to take too long but I have to put them in because I wouldn't want any of the parts go missing and then as you know I also like to make plates why do I like to make plates so much it's because I hate losing dies sometimes they are too tiny and um, yeah I hate losing them so what I did is I designed a brand new um, pancetta die I needed to think of the word and it goes so well with this one so you can use them like they are so but you can also mix it sorry I have a hiccup <laughs> I'm so sorry you can mix and match them then the next one is an add-on set this is a, a small die set but it's an add-on set for the nail file uh, base cutting die set however you want to call it and you can make it look like Mrs. Santa so that's what I designed it's just an add-on set and of course I do love my reindeers especially when Christmas is uh, around the corner and so I designed a brand new bow set with antlers and also I added a few eyelashes uh, eyelash dies into them so you could give your antlers see this is the other one <laughs> that I designed uh, a few years ago but uh, in this one it has different antlers it even has a back layer for the antlers the older one didn't have that and you can make it into a double bow so and these antlers have stitching lines that's what the other ones didn't have either and then I designed a 3D very cute and I have seen some cute examples on Instagram thank you for all the people who make such a beautiful examples but um, this is the a, a pencil gift box teacher gift box I know in America it's a big thing to give teachers some gifts in the Netherlands we don't do that but um, throughout the years I discovered what the differences are between teachers here and teachers in America so we do give our teachers something that, but we normally don't make hand make stuff for our teachers so that's something I needed to get use of um, 
know, accustomed to. I don't know how you say it, but this makes a beautiful pencil box, a very fun one. I've put um, all the links in the description box below, so if you want to see a sample, be my guest, click on the link, and you will see a beautiful sample. And to keep the team going, I also designed a set of three different sizes pencil bows. So you get them in three different sizes and they look so cute. Oh my goodness, Hannah, you did a great job. I don't know if you watch my videos. Please, if you do, leave me a comment. Uh, but yeah, you made a very cool samples. Thank you so much for all your hard work because I know how much work it is to make samples from every single dice that you guys sell. So, then I designed this very cute Santa. It's a very cute set. It has all the uh, stuff you need. You could even make him into a mini album, but this one doesn't have that extra layer that I normally do in a mini album. But it's a very cute Santa. And I think it's lovely to go on a card or on a package, a gift package or on a gift bag. And then what I did is for uh, the same team I des designed a very big giant snowflake mini album. It was requested a lot so that's why I designed a very cute big <laughs> mini album snowflake mini album and this one you have to check out this will make a very cute gift pouch it's a wrapping uh, pouch that goes over the glassine bags no the clear see-through candy bags check this one out because it also contains two rosetta dies and it contains a very long border die so if you want to make a shabby chic version I got you covered you know I love my shabby chic stuff <laughs> and then I designed a very cute uh, gingerbread man Rosetta die I made it a little bit longer so if you want to have it shorter just cut off a part and you can make a tiny one but because I made it longer, you have the option to cut it at the width you like to have it. So don't be intimidated about the broadness, bra no, the size, whatever. <laughs> I'm struggling today, I'm so sorry you guys. And then I have a set of three. They all contain the same. Um, in, in that case, the same gingerbread person, but I made a very cute, brand new gingerbread person. This is the person by itself. And what I did is I made a set of back toppers and I made sure that they all are different sizes. So in the back topper set is a very small one. Please keep in mind it doesn't contain all the little itty bitty stuff that's in here because sometimes there are production limits so what can be produced in a cutting die set so I added as much as I could as you see because there are tiny pieces inside but like the ones with the eyelashes are hard and, and uh, hard to produce in a die set and I made a mini album version of the same gingerbread doll and then I have two more to go one I think is so cute I have to be honest and you know you guys know me um, I say it like it is I'm an upfront kind of lady but to me every single year I got asked to make an apple or a pencil or you know teacher related gifts and I had something like okay but I'm a little bit tired of having a same kind of pencil or a same kind of apple let me do something fun so what I did is I designed a cute calculator 
and then I offered it to the seller, uh, to uh, KS Craft, and, and he suggested, could you make a big pair of glasses with some eyelashes with it? And I had something like, that's a cool idea. So that's what I did, and I even added a bow so you can make a boy and a girl version. I even added all the numbers, what normally also on a calculator. <laughs> oh, I don't have my day today. <laughs> I don't think it's, it was a smart idea for me to tape this video. I'm so sorry, you guys. Oh, I always worry so much when I go and film my videos uh, about, okay, is my English not off today? <laughs> okay, and therefore the people who like to bake, I think I came up with a very fun set. Oh, let me take the die out so I can show you the other set properly. Come on, where do you open? Here. Normally they do them separately, but what I did is, you know those wire racks, right? Where you let cookies cool off, etc. So, what I did is I made a wire rack gingerbread person. I think it's so cute. I made cookies in all kinds of shapes and sizes with sprinkles and chocolate chips and and so on and so on. Let me put this underneath so, so you can see them more up close. And I made a die set with matching dies. So you can cut them out, use them on a card or on a tag or make a tag of it. Of it. But I think this is a fun combination. And this one will be... Um, I don't know when because that's not up to me. But I made a second one in a different, um, not in a gingerbread person. Okay, I'm not going to do this now because that makes me nervous. So, these were all the dies I designed for KS Craft uh, in the new release for this month. KS Craft, thank you so much for being uh, or willing to send me all the dies. I truly value that a lot because not every seller does that. And, um, yeah, to me, it's so fun to tell you what was in my head when I designed them. So, these are all available now. This one will be available later. And if you want a digital cut file, check out my Etsy shop. I will put the link in the description box below. And please keep in mind, I only have four days of sale left. I wish you all a nice day. Thank you for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye.